Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Now. Welcome, mom bosses all over the world. It's another amazing Thursday, and that means it's time for another great discussion with the mom bosses. I am your host, Monietta Hamilton, and Jerisha Moore Smith and Kiana Morgan will not be joining us this episode, but that is quite okay. Okay, they will be back in full force. <laughs> okay, it's just us today. Okay, having a great conversation. Now, if you are not aware, it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And to be completely honest, I am a mental health advocate all year, every day of the year. Um, it really should not be, um, you know, you shouldn't just look at it for that one month. It should be something that should be looked at all year, okay? Um, and I wanted to kind of discuss mom burnout. I think as women, as mothers, we, we juggle so much. Okay. We juggle so much. And I'm going to, you know, give my experience of lately of what's been going on with me. Um, I have definitely been, you know, down and you know, something it's, this is way before the pandemic. This is way before, um, everything that's been going on. Um, I have been trying to focus and get my mind right, put it, you know, on my goals and hit my marks, but then I get so burnt out. That is a thing. Okay. Especially for me as of lately, I have really been trying to, you know, get remotivated. Um, and because of, you know, what's going on in the world, it's definitely a little harder um, to kind of, you know, see a light at the end of the tunnel. It really is. Um, even though I know it's there, you know, I'm very optimistic. I know that, you know, I can get over this hump, but burnout is so real, especially when you feel like you're, you know, doing it by yourself. Um, you know, and that's a whole nother topic in itself, um, you know, as far as like partnerships and spouses and things of that nature, that's a whole totally different conversation. I'm just going to talk, you know, specifically to moms and, you know, who, whomever is feeling what I'm feeling. It is definitely a hard pill to swallow when you feel like you're doing so much alone um, from juggling businesses and trying to build multiple businesses um, on top of working a full-time job, you know, having your kids, planning out their days, um, planning out their nights, you know, and just kind of balancing out not only your own life, but balancing out someone else's life. You have this small person that you have to ensure, you know, grow to grow up and become this well-rounded person so you have to balance so many personalities and balance meals and balance doctor's appointments it's every it's, it goes on and on and on so the burnout and struggle is definitely real okay i have felt it um and i think for me finding a solution to that um is definitely first and foremost, self-awareness. Okay. Knowing that you are in that situation or knowing that you are burnt out is definitely, um, one thing to really focus on. You have to understand and know, okay, I'm tired. I can't, I have to, I have to take a break. You have to have self-awareness in order for you to make the necessary changes and the things um, and the necessary um, solutions for that situation. Cause you don't wanna, you know, your family will not 
succeed if you are down, if you are sick, if you are, you know, just not meant, if you, you have a mental cloud in your head and you can't focus and you're, you know, you're going to end up neglecting things. You're going to end up not doing the things that you once did. And once you are, you know, you fall apart, everything falls apart. Um, and it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that that's how, you know, the chips are laid, you know, it's like a, a chess game. I don't play chess, so I can't reference no pieces. <laughs> so all I know is like when people, you know, specify like, oh, the queen is very important. The queen is very important. And, and we are, we are very intricate parts integral parts of this this thing this world our bubbles we are intricate parts okay we are the structure and we are the roof unfortunately i'm like but if you have like let me just say this if you are a mom who um who has that balance who you know who has someone to kind of you know actually kind of to tag in, that is wonderful. And that is great. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. This is not necessarily for you. This is going to be, you know, and, and if you do know somebody, if you do, if you're a mom and you have yourself together, you have everything organized, you, you, you figured out how not to burn out and you have a friend, a sister, someone, you know, or, you know, acquaintance that you see, is going through the burnout, definitely share, share this, you know, podcast with them, you know, have a discussion of how, you know, maybe, you know, ease, ease a discussion of how they can possibly, you know, um, not be burnt out, you know, suggestions, maybe, you know, a trip together. I don't know. But for those women who are, who are struggling mentally believe me breakdowns are inevitable they are going to happen when you are burnt out when you are completely done it's it's crazy i'm going to be honest i'm going to be transparent i feel like sometimes i just like want to pack a bag and just be out i just want to be gone i'm done okay but then i have to reel myself back in and i'm like okay you have to figure out your scheduling. Maybe you have to rearrange your schedule. You have to fix it in order for you to get the rest, in order for you to get, you know, um, the serenity that you need, the peace that you need. If you have to take a staycation, you know, go to a hotel near you, okay? A bed and breakfast near you, maybe by yourself. Give yourself a weekend. Give yourself a day or two to, you know, recoup. Okay, sit back and plan something. And for all the single moms out there, you know, all the single moms who don't have that help and you are completely burnt out. If you have a group of sisters, not not biologically, but if you have a group of sisters, friends, like let have a conversation. Like, look, let's tag in. Let's tag in. Okay, what can we do to help each other have time um, to ourselves? Let's do ba like babysitting duties, okay? Like, I'll take your kid for two days, you know, for you to, you know, chill out, to relax, and then you take mine for two days. Of course, you're going to have to have really trusting, you know, a, a system with that. You have to be really trusting and absolutely love the people that you're around in order to do this. You know, always think safely when it comes to leaving your children with other people. But, you know, I'm helping with finding solutions to this burnout. I'm trying to help find solutions to, you know, the stress, the anxiety, the depression, because all of this is just boiling over. It's boiling over. And what happens is you're going to start having, you know, negative thoughts and um, it's not, it's not a good feeling and it's not going to help anyone around your, your, your circle, which is your kids, you know, uh, significant others, whomever. 
So as as women, as mothers, we have to find a a um, a middle ground. And sometimes you just have to like, I'm not doing this today. I don't feel like doing this today. Business or no business. OK, delegate, delegate tasks to other people if you have employees. Like, look, I'm taking my day. I'm taking two days. I'm taking time for me to be able to get myself together because I'm not going to be any good to you if I am not good to myself. And that's just the bottom line. Because when I get into these burnout states, I literally, I feel lethargic. I feel like I just, my mind races. I feel like, you know, like, okay, what is the point? Because I'm juggling so many things that it's, that it, it, it kind of, you know, it puts that in your mind, you know, it's like, I'm doing all of these things, but I don't see a great reward. And that's okay. Rewards are not going to come immediately. And that's, and that's a lot of, you know, for me personally, that's my thought process. Like I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, but I don't see, I don't see it. I don't, I see a little bit of it, but I don't like, what am I doing? You know, you start questioning, you start questioning so much. You know, I, for me, I, I've, I'm coming to terms with, you know, my, my own, you know, self-awareness, my own mental health. And I've always been aware and, you know, with me majoring, um, cause I majored in psychology and sociology, sociology, and I have my degree in criminal justice. So when I majored in psychology, I, it opened up a whole new world of thinking for me, of self-awareness and being able to notice things about myself, not diagnose myself, but notice things about myself, my the things that are changing and catch it when it's in that, you know, when it happens or after it happens. I was actually, um, you know, looking up recently, you know, cause I'm like, okay, you know, I'm getting burnt. I'm getting tired. Um, my mood is really shifty. Like what's, what's going on with me? And this is, has been going on for years, 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 years. And I finally, um, I finally was like, okay, what is it that is, you know, really causing me to have these, these changes, these mood swings, and I think I, you know, came to a conclusion of um, PMDD. Um, and, you know, a lot of times you don't really get a diagnosis and, you know, from a doctor. It's pretty much, you know, um, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's more like a level above just your regular, you know, uh, premenstrual symptoms. It's, it kind of takes it to another level. And I'm like, I've been suffering with this for so long. And that that also contributes to my burnout, you know, because it's not just, you know, um, just a few days out of the month. No, it's a big chunk of my month. So I'm trying to do all of these many tasks, all of these many tasks, and I'm suffering, you know, physically with physical pain, you know, on top of my other, you know, medical issues and, and things like that. So it's like, wow, an added stressor an added stressor because now I know why I feel the way I feel. So it's like, okay, so how do I, how do I figure out a way to get on top of this? How do I figure out a way to, you know, make sure that my health is right mentally and physically. Okay. So what I've decided to do is like, okay, I need to get back into the game. So I started exercising and believe me, I am not an exerciser. Okay. I don't exercise. I was, you know, 
it sounds great. <laughs> I've tried it, but I never went the long haul. Like, due to physical, um, due to my physical pain, it was just not in the cards. But I'm like, you know something? No. When I exercise, it gives me more energy. When I eat right, it makes me feel better. And even if I am sad, depressed, and I just want to binge eat or, you know, just, you know, eat unhealthy or whatever the case may be, I really have to think that food intake also contributes to, you know, how your body reacts. So it's like a balance. Like you have to really find a balance to get your mental right. You know, I, I'd like sharing things, you know, about myself. I'm, if you've listened to past um, episodes, um, you kind of heard that, you know, especially for me specifically, that I'm getting out of my comfort zone. And I feel like me sharing certain things like my PMDD, um, you know, my mental health, suffering with mental health since I was um, a, a kid and, you know, going through different medications for anxiety and depression and, um, you know, all the trauma that I've been to been through, um, you know, I want people who have, you know, if you have experienced it to understand you're not alone because I had to learn that I'm not alone. And I felt that for many, many years that I, I felt that I was alone and burn out. You're, you're doing great mom, moms out there, moms, you're doing fantastic. Let me say this again. You're doing fantastic. You're, you're, you're balancing everything perfectly. Okay. You're doing what you're supposed to do as a mom. But at the same time, you also have to take care of yourself. Or you're not going to be good for anyone else. You're just not. And even though, you know, you may not cry in front of your kids or you may not, you may not show your emotions or your feelings in front of your children. Um, some moms don't, some moms do, but for those, you know, either way, you know, it's not, it's still not fair to you as a mom to have those emotions, period, because you're not taking care of yourself properly. You're not, you're not, you know, taking, and it's not just the five, you know, and of course people say, oh, take five minutes, go into the bathroom, which is great. If that's what you can do, do that. But honey, you need to take a break. Okay. If you have to find an, a cute little hotel and spend a few nights, do that. Do that. It's not. Because I, I looked at it when I, you know, and I'm, I'm actually thinking of, I'm going to do it I already. You know, I'm looking for a hotel now. I'm going to book it and I'm going to spend a few days there by myself, by myself. And what am I going to do? I'm going to chill. Okay. Watch some TV, watch some Netflix, enjoy me. And try not to, you you know, pick up the phone, try not to work. I'm going to do what I have to do for me in order for me to be happy and present for my family. So definitely if you are suffering from any depression or suffering, you know, from anxiety or anything like that, I would definitely suggest, definitely suggest um, going to, um, you know, going to, you know, um, a therapist or finding someone that's close to you, around you that you're, you're able to vent to, talk to, and just, you know, share you don't want to continuously hold that stuff in it's not fair to you it's definitely not fair to you so 
yeah, this was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I like having these conversations. I definitely enjoy having these conversations. Um, so if you are not a part of our Facebook group, Mom Boss Radio, definitely check us out. Um, you know, join the conversations. Um, be a part of the family. It's great over there. It's it's amazing. Wonderful, wonderful women just embracing each other and having conversations and um, just, you know, loving on each other. We definitely need that in these times, okay? We are definitely, definitely happy. There, And Jerisha and Kiana will be back. You know, we're going to be full force, having great conversations again. I'm very glad that you tuned in to listen to me. Um, now, we are mom bosses on a mission to empower moms all over the world. Uh, mom bosses, remember to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. You are making moves. You got this. Bye. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time.